one time the Patriots had dominated this storied rivalry, but the Colts have won three straight in the series, including last year's AFC Championship game. Of course, the teams have put some points up on the board as well in their games against one another, scoring a combined 95 points in those past three games. And uh, guys, you know, uh, where do you start in this game? Obviously, uh, Tom Brady, new weapons around him offensively, but you know, differences when the two teams met last season in that championship game to now, uh, this is going to be a great matchup on Sunday. It is, and when you look at these two teams and you say, okay, what's the difference between last year's teams and this year's teams? And obviously, you know, the Patriots have more weapons with their wide receiving core. Last year, Rashe Cardwell, uh, Jabbar Gaffney, these guys dropped a lot of passes in that football game in the AFC Championship. The Colts were down 21 to three if this same thing happens this year they're not coming back because no. with Randy Moss and you're talking about Stallworth and Welker this offense is too explosive for for the Colts to try to make that push forward so when I look at this game I say okay the only difference I see are, are on that on the, the receiving core mm -hmm. uh, other than that everything else seems to be the same well keep in mind now a 38 to 34 game last year which was very competitive, obviously. The Patriots, I think, got better with acquisitions. Yeah. Not only that, Rodney Harrison didn't play in that game. Say Junior didn't play. Say out didn't play. Adelius Adelius Thomas, Thomas, Thomas wasn't there, right? So all of a sudden, the Patriots' defense should be better than last year. And then what you said, Moss, Welker, Dante Stallworth, they're so much better than they were. And they scored 34 on the Colts last year. How many can they score this year? That's, <laughs> that's the issue yeah. right there.